Are you tired of watching your hard-earned money disappear in a volatile market? Do you want to know the secrets to financial success from one of the greatest investors of all time? Look no further because in this video, we reveal the top 7 tips from the one and only Peter Lynch. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Peter Lynch is a name that will forever be remembered in the history of investing. With a career spanning over two decades, Lynch managed one of the largest and most successful mutual funds of all time, the Fidelity Magellan Fund, and during that time, he achieved an incredible annual return of 29%. Considering the average annual return of the stock market is 10%, 29% is an impressive consistent return. But Lynch isn't just a numbers man, he's a master of human psychology, a student of market trends, and a believer in the power of long term investing. He has a wealth of knowledge and experience to share, as showcased in his insightful tips that we're about to unlock. We'll also follow the journey of how Lynch's tips can inspire individuals like Laura to go from a gambler to a true investor. If that sounds appealing to you, then make sure you sit back, grab a pen and paper, and prepare to take notes. Get ready to embark on the journey towards financial freedom. Laura was a hard-working receptionist who lived in a small town. Despite her busy schedule and low salary, she was always on the lookout for ways to improve her finances. Her dream is to one day be financially free, to live life on her own terms. She had always been fascinated by the stock market and began investing in a few companies last year. She did this in the hope that she'll make a better return for her money than keeping it in a savings account. However, she lost more money than she originally put in, now that the market is down. She was discouraged and felt like she was just throwing her hard-earned money down the drain. Laura felt ready to throw in the towel, call it a stupid mistake to begin investing, and sell all her shares. Until one day, while exercising at her local gym, she was listening to a financial podcast that would change her life forever. In this recent episode, the podcaster shared Peter Lynch's story. Laura was captivated by the tales of his triumphs, and the stunning record of profits he had accrued over time. Fueled by a burning curiosity, Laura was determined to uncover the secrets to his success. She set out on a mission to research and understand his methodology. With a fierce desire to see her investments soar like a phoenix from the ashes, she pored over Lynch's tips and techniques. Through her tireless effort, she discovered the keys to Lynch's success and prepared to embark on her own journey to financial success. Number 7. Do your homework. One of Lynch's most famous quotes is know what you own and know why you own it. He understood the crucial role that research and understanding plays in successful investing. But for Laura, her lack of research has left her in a precarious position. As her investments falter and her confidence crumbles, she finds herself on the brink of giving up. Yet this desperation stemmed from a fundamental flaw in her approach. A failure to heed Lynch's advice and fully understand the company she has invested in. Without knowledge, her investments are nothing more than a roll of the dice, leaving her feeling lost and defeated. But with research comes power and the ability to weather any storm. Building upon the last tip, number 6, is invest, don't gamble. Lynch says, if you don't study any companies, you have the same success buying stocks as you do in a poker game, if you bet without looking at your cards. Too many people claim to be investing, but in reality, they are gambling with their money. A dangerous game that often results in substantial losses. However, Laura has the opportunity to break free from this approach of a gambler, and embrace the strategy of a true investor. By researching the company she holds shares in, she can gain a deeper understanding and knowledge allowing her to make more informed decisions towards her investments. Number 5. Don't time the market. Far more money has been lost by investors preparing for corrections or trying to anticipate corrections than has been lost in corrections themselves. The road to riches in the stock market is not a quick one. Lynch knows that big gains are typically the result of a patient long-term approach. The typical big winner generally takes 3-10 to 10 years to play out. Attempting to time the market to make a killing when it recovers is a dangerous trap that leads many down the path of financial ruin. A better strategy for the average investor is the dollar cost average, an approach that delivers the best average price over the long haul. The stock market is a long distance race, not a sprint. Laura embraces this wisdom, recognising that the best path to success is to focus on consistently making money and investing it, rather than wasting time trying to time the market. With this approach, she'll be well on her way to financial success. Number 4. Expect to lose. In this business, if you're good, you're right 6 times out of 10. You're never going to be right 9 times out of 10. Lynch delivers a reality check. This truth, though hard to accept, is something all investors must come to grips with when investing in single stocks. The stock market is unpredictable. Research can only take you so far. 
as Lynch himself acknowledges. You never can predict the economy. You can't predict the stock market. If Laura is investing in individual stocks, she must embrace the fact that not every pick will be a home run. However, with a resilient and realistic mindset, she'll be poised for success. Number 3. Temperament is vital to success. In the stock market, the most important organ is the stomach. It's not the brain. Lynch stresses the importance of having a strong temperament especially in the stock market. Stocks rise and fall due to the buying and selling of other investors, and too often, emotions drive these decisions. Without a level head, many investors suffer losses. It's essential for Laura to assess her personal risk tolerance and understand the role emotion plays in her investment choices. Don't be like others who let emotions rule their investments. Strengthen your stomach and hold your ground for long-term success. Number 2. Keep it simple. Never invest in any idea you can't illustrate with a crayon. The secret to successful investing lies in the ability to understand the value of a company, and the simpler it can be explained, the easier it is for others to grasp the concept and see the value. Don't let complexity be the downfall of your investment portfolio. The simpler the better. As an average investor, Laura can factor this tip in her decision whether or not to invest into a stock. Embrace the wisdom of Peter Lynch, who reminds us that behind every stock, there is a company. Before we reveal our final and perhaps most important tip, if you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you subscribe to the channel, so you never miss a video. Number 1. There's more to life than money. Lynch would say, if you are lucky enough to have been rewarded in life to the degree that I have, there comes a point at which you have to decide whether to become a slave to your net worth by devoting the rest of your life to increasing it, or to let what you've accumulated begin to serve you. At the pinnacle of a success in the mutual fund industry, Lynch chose to prioritise happiness over just increasing his wealth. He recognised the importance of finding balance in life, and understood that there's more to life than just chasing money. This is a valuable lesson for investors like Laura, as she strives towards financial freedom and independence. It's crucial for her to reflect on what else she wants to accomplish in life besides wealth. Does she see herself solely as a receptionist? Or does she have a greater purpose in mind? These are the questions that Lynch's wise words inspire her to contemplate. Lynch's wise words remind us that there is a delicate balance between our financial success and our personal happiness, and it's important to find that balance. At the end of the day, investing is not just about making money, it's about creating a better future for ourselves and the people we care about. By following Lynch's advice, Laura can make sure she's not just accumulating wealth, but also creating a life of fulfillment and joy. Laura feels rejuvenated listening to the wise words of Peter Lynch, and optimistic to continue investing. Determined to turn her finances around, with a new sense of optimism, Laura decided to take a more serious approach to investing. She continued reading and watching everything she could find about Lynch, and began to implement some of his strategies into her portfolio. She applied Lynch's tips into her strategy, like the importance of researching companies and investing in what she understood. She also started paying closer attention to her personal finances, and began making small changes that would have a big impact over time. With each passing day, Laura's confidence grew. She started to see the results of her efforts, and was thrilled with the short-term growth in her portfolio seen so far. She continued to learn and grow as an investor, taking online courses, and attending seminars to further her knowledge. However, like all investors, Laura faced challenges along the way. The stock market was unpredictable, and sometimes her investments didn't perform as well as she had hoped. Despite this, she refused to be discouraged, and continued to follow Lynch's strategies, even when others were panicking and selling. One of the most important lessons Laura learned from Peter Lynch was to be temperamental. He often said, in the stock market, the most important organ is the stomach, it's not the brain. Laura remembered this tip, and refused to sell her investments just because of her short-term market fluctuations. She stayed the course and was rewarded for her temperament not to panic and sell. She was confident in her research, that she invested in good investments. As the years passed, Laura's portfolio grew and she became more and more confident in her abilities as an investor. Decades later, with hard work and sacrifice, she eventually reached a goal of financial freedom and independence. She was now able to quit her job and live life on her own terms. If she wished, Laura could now expand her horizons further than behind a desk, by travelling the world. Looking back, Laura couldn't believe how far she had come. She was grateful for the lessons she had learned from Peter Lynch, and was proud of the portfolio she had built. However, after reaching a goal, Laura felt like she needed a new goal, a new purpose to strive for. She realised the most enjoyable part wasn't really reaching a goal, but in fact, it was the journey in getting there. She wanted to help people, inspire them to achieve their financial goals, 
like Lynch inspired her. Laura started volunteering at local community centres, so she could teach others about the importance of investing in personal finance. She was now passionate about helping others achieve the financial freedom that she had found, and she quickly became a sought-after speaker and mentor. From that day forward, Laura lived life to the fullest, with the peace of mind that comes from financial freedom. She became a mentor to others and shared her story and the lessons that she had learned from Peter Lynch. She felt like she had unlocked the key to a life of financial success and freedom, and was proud of the impact she was making on other people. If financial freedom is the goal you strive for in life, there is an easy path to achieve this, especially when you hit retirement. Be sure to check out our next video, where Doris shows you how she retired with millions.